This concept is, frankly, creepy. Producer and biotechnologist Hashem Al-Ghaili made a video about growing hundreds of babies. Each baby is in a special pod and receives the optimal mix of nutrients, while the level of amniotic fluid is also regulated. Any abnormalities will be found by the AI system almost instantly, and the treatment will take place without risk to the mother. In addition, it's a great option for women who can't give birth for medical reasons. The load per center is up to 30,000 babies a year. Morally, humanity is not yet ready for such experiments. People in the comments believe. What do you think? This project is related to the famous Gran Turismo series. The simulator with Japanese roots is considered a milestone of the genre and is still very popular. By May 2018, more than 80 million copies had been sold. So, the game is a great advertising option for car manufacturers. Here is a beautiful example from Lamborghini. The concept on your screen was made specifically for Gran Turismo, but it also received several real-life incarnations, from a full-size model for presentations to different homemade versions. The design has combined new and old ideas. For example, Fans of the brand will look at the side window and will immediately remember the 1968 Marcel Coupe. And the cockpit reminds us of a fighter jet. Not in vain, the car is a single-seater. Inside, according to the idea, is a hybrid unit from a Lamborghini Shan. So, the car produces 819 horsepower and reaches 217 miles per hour. Let's continue with a project from Austria, where they came up with the concept of a clean city. This idea combines advanced technology, competent management, and experience to create a city with a circular economy. To put it simply, even municipal waste is used and helps produce energy or resources like biofuel. The circular concept fosters wealth and employment across generations, the authors of the concept write. Plus, in conditions of resource scarcity, this economy will provide a competitive advantage. What others simply throw away, the clean city will recycle and sell or use again. It's too early to talk about a new space race, but some sort of rivalry has already emerged. In the summer of 2022, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson said in an interview that he was greatly concerned about China's progress in space, and even feared that China would conquer the moon. Well, while Nelson and other experts share their opinions, designers and artists offer their vision of the space fleet of the future. For example, this ship will come in handy for quick help in emergency situations. It's agile, fast, and equipped with an advanced scanning system. And fans of video games surely thought of Star Citizen and the Aegis Redeemer ship. A British design studio is focused on offering cutting-edge technology and high-end experience to young, fashion-driven consumers. Statistics are on their side. Experts estimate that by 2025, about 75% of car sales on the planet will be made by people under 28 years old. Plus, the rules of urban mobility are changing, cities are getting denser, and there are more people in cities. So, people need something compact, stylish, and reflective of the owner's personality. Something like this. This vehicle is a cross between a motorcycle and an electric car. It has four wheels, but can tilt when turning. Instead of keys, there's a special jacket that allows the system to recognize the driver and activate. They don't say anything about the specs, but they write that this is a provocation on urban transport like no other. This is a vehicle that will take passengers on a ride in 2025. The electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft is the brainchild of an American company. It offers a range of 99 miles, speeds up to 150 miles per hour, and five seats, 
four for passengers and one for the pilot. One of the first commercial routes is already known. Passengers will be taken from downtown Manhattan to Newark Liberty International Airport in 10 minutes. And one of the team's goals is to have 6,000 units by 2030. You should be talked about as much as Tesla, a user writes. What did the sports car of the future look like in 1970? Like this. You're seeing the Alfa Romeo Montreal. It was not only stylish, but also the fastest car of the Italian company at that time. It had a V8 engine and could reach 137 miles per hour, which sounds pretty good even now. Also, Montreal is a source of inspiration for designers, and this concept is a perfect example. The author of this work is designer Luca Serafini. He honestly confessed that his father drove an original Montreal. Young Luca liked the car very much, and then he grew up and created this concept version. The trademark grille is in place, and the headlights also look classic. The concept also feels more aerodynamic, although it is longer. We wonder if Alfa Romeo's management will take note of this work. Next on our list is a concept that combines features from helicopters and airplanes. It was made in nine months by digital design students, and in a short video, they show some of the most interesting solutions. For example, if necessary, an additional platform with wings and a fuel supply is attached to the helicopter. So the maximum speed increases from 217 to 373 miles per hour. The concept is curious, given the trend for air cabs. The author notes that their idea is not only cheaper than a car, but it also makes less noise. Maybe this student project will someday lift passengers rushing for work into the air. Remember how the inhabitants of the planet Pandora established a mental connection with the will look like in the future. Perhaps like this? It might be, but only in theory. Instead, a Norwegian company is seriously planning to sell this unusual hybrid, which resembles a bicycle, a motorcycle, and a car all at the same time. All we wish may leave their info on their site. Meanwhile, let's look at the characteristics of this future best-selling vehicle. For now, it's known as the pod bike and according to the European classification, it is a bicycle. The vehicle is electrically powered, 
One charge is enough for 50 miles. Maximum speed is 37 miles per hour, but only on descents. On a straight line, the electric system helps you reach only 15 miles per hour. Capacity is one adult and one child under six. You can also add wipers, winter tires, a tow bar, and more. The price is about $6,600. This vehicle, on the other hand, is still far from being mass-produced. There are only some virtual models and a mock-up. The team doesn't share much about the interior and characteristics. All that is known is that it's a 14.8-foot-long electric car. The main idea is to create a living room on wheels. The author offers three modes of transformation of the interior. For example, the OLED panel turns into a lamp, the windshield rises, and a comfortable sofa is perfect for a nap or a good night's sleep. Plus, the LEDs in the discs now know how to light up to the rhythm of the music, which is perfect for parties. The interior has no leather or chrome, it's more environmentally friendly, and the fabric trim changes quickly to suit the mood. The next step to our future, the manufacturers believe. Do you think it will sell well? The Japanese anime film Akira came out in 1988 and became not only an iconic cyberpunk project, but also helped spread Japanese pop culture to the West. And the protagonist's red motorcycle still inspires designers and artists all over the world. You're seeing an example on the screens. The author of this concept is Chinese designer James Q. He's not only showed his idea, but also talked about the technical details. For example, the front wheel of the concept should be powered by electric motors, while the rear wheel should be powered by an internal combustion engine. Q used a Ducati Diavel cruiser motorcycle as the basis. The massive tires and huge front air intakes give it a look worthy of cyberpunk, one review noted. Italian designer Gabriele Turuzzi showed all his creativity in this project. Just by the name, you can tell this is something cool. On the screens is the yacht Shaddai, which can be translated as Almighty. It's 492 feet of luxury with a giant aquarium, a beach, a mini waterfall, and an observation deck at 125 feet. When you see it, you know that the person who owns it can do anything and must have a lot of money, because it'd take about $250 million to bring the concept to reality. 